There you go, folks. Nice little curveball for you. Some old school anime. Uh, I figure in honor of the new live action coming out with uh, John Cho and others, we have the classic swordfish um, that is, um, if you're not familiar with Cowboy Bebop, that is Spike Spiegel's ship in Cowboy Bebop. You see? Cowboy Bebop. Soul of Pop, Poppy Nika. So it's one of the OG and Bandai. Um, yeah, I think I will review this for you guys. I've been waiting to do something different and hopefully this will be cool enough. So it's your mono racer. Uh, I'm not sure the scale of this, um, but I'm going to guess it's like 1 64th, somewhere like that, because the miniature inside is about yay big. So it's in scale with your Hot Wheels and whatnot, train train models and whatnot. So that's the Mono Racer so Swordfish number two for the box here. So it's all the, the bells and whistles, really cool things that the ship does. The, the wings fold, has the plasma cannon, has a nice little display. Uh, everything that you would expect from a higher end um, Japanese um, diecast toy. Has all these little cool moving parts too. Very delicate. Um, so if you do manage to get your hands on one, treat it with care because it's a work of art. So without further ado, let's uh, crack it open and show you what it looks like. All right, here's the swordfish outside the box. As you can see, I've barely touched it. It's been uh, a tome for me uh, since I love uh, this property so much. I love Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop and I can't wait for the live action. I don't know about you. Uh, it does come with this nice booklet and I want to keep it this way. I know I'm a nerd. I'm sorry guys. Um, but I don't, I just don't want to mess with it. I think more importantly, let's look at the vehicle. Okay. So it does come with a stand and there's the little capsule that, um, Spike is in and some landing gear and a display, um, stop so let's cut to opening it again again all right here's the swordfish out of the package i don't know if you can see that but there you go nice uh, reflective surface here uh, the soul of Papinika, which is also like the i think it's a either a tomi or a takara offshoot i'll have to look that up for you guys but uh i'm sure you're familiar with poppy uh they deal with a lot of high-end die-cast Japanese toys. So yeah, that's what this is. So what you get here basically is here's um, Spike in the pod. I don't know if you can see him in there. I can focus some light there for you. Let's see. Let's move this light. See, there he is. And like I said, I think the scale is around 164th, maybe a little bit bigger. And just in comparison to this truck, which is a Hot Wheels, looks like Spike could sit in there. It's a close scale. And that gives you an idea how big the swordfish really is. It's um, kind of a, like, what do you call that? An ultralight glider style kind of ship. Uh, and I've always loved this design. It's been um, kind of really cool, artsy ship, um, but simple at the same time, as you can see. It's like the straight out wings, but it is capable of space travel. And obviously the name Swordfish for the looks of the sharp angles, very cool. So it does have landing gear right there. And like I said, you got to treat it very carefully uh, with, uh, with baby gloves, if you will. Uh, this pops out. Um, it's not like this landing gear. This just comes out and um, you can prop it on to the stand. And it does come with a replacement hatch. So it looks flush and I'll show that to you in a second. Um, yeah, I'm really, I, I really love this landing gear situation here. It does, um, lock into place like that. 
and it folds a lot of detail there. As you can see, incredible piece, um, I think. One of the better diecast toys out there that was available. I don't know how available it is right now. Um, it does tend to go in and out of production. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. So that's that, like that. Spike goes in his escape pod ball. So you can see there's like a spindle right there. Like a little uh, notch right there, which allows it to sit right in here. The whole point of it is it's like a, a gyro system. So yeah, be careful of this. You don't want to force it. It's very delicate. Just push it down and then it locks into place like that. See? So that in theory, you know, he stays level uh, like a motorcycle would. So that, yeah, it's kind of a plane slash mo motorcycle kind of uh, idea, which is super slick. I love it. And here's the the boosters, which do open and close like this. And it does adjust. You can hear some clicking there. So you can pose it as like that. Oh, there you go. These lids close also to make it look like it's an air brake. If you can see that. Just all in all, really good detail for such uh, a small piece. A lot of, a lot of accents, a lot of details, as you would expect from a toy this quality. And uh, oh yeah, and of course, this aspect where the wings fold, Oop. like this. The Bebop, which is the ship. This is the resting position of the swordfish. I think this also, these wings um, adjust a little bit too, but that's like him taxiing, which is amazing in itself. All the detail that they uh, incorporated into this toy. Amazing. So a lot of it is die cast. This nose piece is die cast and then some hard plastic, but it, it is, um, it's light, but like the core of it is very heavy. I think a lot of this is die cast, uh, fix, uh, fixtures. So that's quite cool. Does that go down any further? No, that's about it. So what else can this do? Let's put these back to their original positions so that there you go. I'm gonna show you how that works real quick. You pop it out and then fold over like that. Pretty cool. Um, what else can we do? Make sounds. It has the Gauss cannon right there. It's like a rail gun. Pretty awesome. Yeah, this is a, this is a rad toy, guys, if you guys can find it. Um, it is, I think, almost museum quality. It's uh, quite a beautiful toy or uh, model, if you will. Let's see if you can see Spike in there. Swordfish. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for this quick unboxing of the Cowboy Bebop Swordfish 2 Spike Spiegel ship. Um, as you can see, pretty awesome on its uh, stand there. And if you do manage to get your hands on one, congratulations, uh, they're getting harder to find. Um, handle it with care, it's very delicate. Um, I mean, some of the parts are pretty sturdy, but I, I, I would say there's just so many pokey things um, and little delicate things that uh, could break on you. So I definitely, w uh, I've been saving this in the box so it will be shelf porn, if you will, eventually when I have my study 
um, and shelf space. So uh, enjoy it. And, um, you know, if you enjoy it through this video, even better. Uh, please like and subscribe, of course. And uh, I can't wait for the Cowboy Bebop uh, live action to come out. I'm really excited about that. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll catch you on the next one as I'm bobbling this around. <laughs> I apologize. I might be scaring people. I'm scaring myself. See, I can't really see it. I'm looking at it through this camera. So my depth perception is horrible. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you. Talk to you.